binge this. It's not good. We're going to binge this. There we go. And here to make his Saturday binge this debut, Mr. Will Gans. Good morning, everybody. Hello. hello. It's a BYOP. This is great. Thank you. Well, I'm not going to wear a plain black suit after the air horn. You got to a little snazzy, right? Yeah. All right. BYOP because it's a star studded weekend on TV. And here to break down the best in binging is Darren Karp. She's the host of Reality Check on People TV. Good morning, Darren. How are you? Doing well, Will. Got my popcorn ready. I'm ready to break this down. I'm glad you got the memo. Okay, first up, I'm going to channel my inner Ryan Seacrest. Dim the lights. Here we go. This is American Idol season 20, <laughs> Darren. I can't believe it. Yes, my favorite competition reality series is finally back. Season 20 premieres tomorrow night at 8 p.m. on ABC. You can expect some great familiar faces. We've got Katy Perry, Luke Bryan, Lionel Richie, all judging the panel, of course. And then we've got Ryan Seacrest right at the helm. Of course, uh, you need to have him. However, Bobby Bones is not going to be returning as a mentor this year, but they are going to have kind of some celebrity replacements. We're going to see Baby Rexa. We're going to see Jimmy Allen, who we all fell in love with on Dancing with the Stars. And to celebrate 20 years, Will, instead of handing out the golden ticket straight to Hollywood Week, they're celebrating by giving out platinum tickets, okay? We're upping the ante this year because that's what you give on a 20th anniversary. Tomorrow night, ABC, 8 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Can't wait to see that. The three judges were on Kimmel yesterday. Day, and they are having more fun than ever, so tuning in tomorrow night for sure. And now we're bidding a fond farewell, I can't believe it, to a hit thriller. Give us the deets. If you are not watching Killing Eve, let me tell you, I am judging you from where I am sitting, okay? This is my favorite <laughs> scripted series to come out of the last five years. It is just beautifully written, beautifully done. What a thriller for everyone. Sandra O oh plays the assassin obsessed Eve. And then we've got Jody Comer right there playing Villanelle, who's this assassin. They're friends, they're enemies, they're lovers. We really don't know, but the fourth and final season is premiering tomorrow night on BBC. We're only going to get eight episodes, unfortunately. I know it's going to be a power packed eight episodes, but it premieres tomorrow night on BBC at 8 p.m. and then it replays Mondays at 9 p.m. on AMC. It is just my favorite show. You have to binge all the seasons and catch up before tomorrow's premiere. Uh, and after that cliffhanger last season, we have waited too long for Killing Eve to come back. And then this, it's my Super Bowl. The road to the Oscars is picking up the pace. What's our next stop? We got the SAG Awards. It's award season, people. And the SAG Awards are always more personal because they're given out by peers in motion picture and film. Lots of categories to get to. It kicks off tomorrow night at TNT and TBS at 8 p.m. But the real show starts with People in Entertainment Weekly's Red Carpet Live at 5.30. You're going to want to watch that for all the interviews, all the outfits, of course, and kind of get the pregame before the actual Super Bowl, to your point, Will. But we got some good categories to shout out. Performance for a male actor. It's tough competition competition this year. We've got Javier Bardem for being the Ricardos, Benedict Cumberbatch. We've got Andrew Garfield, Tick, Tick, Boom, Denzel Washington, Will Smith. Listen, all would be great contenders. I'm not a betting woman, but if I had to put my money on someone taking on this category, I'm going to give it to Will Smith for King Richard here. I want Denzel to take it home, but I think it's going to be Will Smith. And then on the female actress side, we've got Nicole Kidman for being the Ricardos. We've got Lady Gaga, House of Gucci. We've got Jennifer Hudson. Oh, my God, the, the list is jam-packed. Olivia Coleman, Jessica Chastain. And listen, any one of them would be good. Social media is a buzz. They want Lady Gaga to take this home. But again, a betting woman, I'm putting on Nicole Kidman for her role as Lucia Ball. She knocked it out of the park. So many times during that movie, I couldn't tell if it was her or Lucy, and I think she deserves the SAG award here, but it's anyone's guess. Tomorrow night, TNT, TBS, 8 p.m. I love it. I watched The Eyes of Tammy Faye last night, so I'm going to put my money on the dark horse here, Jessica Chastain. Thank you, Darren. My money's always on you, for the record. Catch Darren hosting <laughs> People TV's Reality Check streaming Monday to Thursday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern, and pick up this week's issue of People on newsstands nationwide now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.